All right, fight fans. Let's talk about the Sugar Shane Mosley uh, fight that's going to be happening tonight. I want to make sure I pronounce this guy's name right because nobody's ever heard of him. David Avanisian. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Anyway, this guy has the interim belt. Uh, I think the WBA. I think. I'm trying to look it up now. I think he has the WBA. Something of that nature. He has an interim belt. Interim belts is just another way for um, sanctioned bodies to make more money. That's why you have like the WBA Super World Champion, WBA Regular Champion, WBA Interim Champion, WBA Bronze Champion, WBA Ten Foil Champion. They got all these just so they can make like thirty thousand, forty, fifty thousand a pop. Every time these guys defend their belts, just the way to keep money into the belt holders, uh, the sanction of bodies, they're just as bad as the politicians. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about uh, our boy Sugar Shane Mosley. Sugar Shane Mosley will be fighting David tonight. Um, Sugar Shane Mosley has his own promotional company, Go Box Promotions. Um, you never heard of it, don't be shocked. You know, a lot of people haven't. It's a promotion company trying to get off the ground. Um, if you remember, he was with uh, Golden Boy Promotions for a while. Him, uh, Oscar, of course, the uh, founder of that, and Bernard Hopkins. But Sugar Shane mostly had a falling out um, a few years ago with Oscar. That's, to this day, I still don't know why. I'm sure I can Google it, but it doesn't matter. He started his own promotion company, Go Box Promotions. The reason why a lot of these guys start their own promotional companies is because they, they keep a little bit more share of the purse. And stuff that comes in, um, you know, money that comes. You get to keep a little bit more. So, you know, who who doesn't want to keep an extra buck without having to shell it out if they don't have to? Um, but the most interesting thing about this fight is that um, Sugar Shane Mosley, if he wins tonight, or if David wins, they will be um, the mandatory challenger. Uh, they will be ordered to face the winner of the uh, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, um, fight, you know, they fight on June 25th in Barclays Center in, in Brooklyn, New York. Um, it's a heavy matchup that everybody's looking for, but Sugar Shane Mosley, if he wins, could find himself facing Keith Thurman or Sean Porter. Now, um, Sugar Shane hasn't looked too bad in this uh, last two fights. Of course, he, he fought a out of shape, um, Ricardo Mayorga, but then he fought a younger guy, Patrick Lopez. Um, doesn't really mean anything, but it was just to get a, a vast sense of, you know, how does Sugar Shane mostly look at 40, what was he, is he 40 something years old? Is there anything here that can tell me how old Sugar Shane, oh, he's 44 now. So he's 44 years old now, just to see if he has any sharpness left. Uh, if anything, the older you get, you know, people talk about Sugar Shane being a gym rat, which is cool and fun and all that. But the key come down to at 44, how is your endurance? When you're taking shots, receiving shots, giving shots. Can your body last after six, seven, eight rounds or will you continue to fade? So one of those things, if you do have what's called grown man strength, you better try to knock him out within the first five to six rounds. Anything after six rounds, you might be in trouble, especially if you start to fade. Um, but anyway, uh, let me give you a little quick prediction. Um, this guy he's fighting only has 11 knockouts, so he's definitely in there with somebody that um, doesn't have knockout power, which means Sugar Shane is going to try to just walk through him. Um, the only way he can beat Sugar Shane is to outbox him and be slick for, you know, the whole 12 rounds. Um, being that we never heard of this guy and we don't know too much about him, I wouldn't be shocked if um, Sugar Shane knocks him out, you know, within eight rounds. I, I just don't see the guy lasting long. Which will put us in line for the Keith Thorman, uh Sean Porter um, winner. Sugar Shane Mosley is getting his last shot at victory, at glory. He's got to perform and look impressive tonight to get that title shot. And if he does, do you think he could beat either of those two, Keith Thurman or Sean Porter? And would you be interested in seeing that fight? Y'all leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you think.